Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a blessed day on this Sunday. Uh, I've been on the topic of Mary and on the topic of the Catholic Church, but I'm going to discuss Mary a little bit more. And the title of this subject, the title of this video will be, Does God Have a Mother? Now, I've stated before that Mary is highly favored. The Bible tells us that she was highly favored. She had an incredibly important job to do. Was Mary sinless? Was Mary perfect? No. There's only one who was perfect. There's only one who walked this earth perfectly. That man's name is Jesus Christ. There was no grace in her. There was no putting her on a pedestal with Jesus. And like I said before, a lot of Catholics do. Not all, to be fair, but a lot of Catholics do. And a lot of churches do. They put her on a pedestal on the same level as Jesus Christ. Now, if God had a mother and father that means he would have a a passing down of great grandparents and so on and so on so would they all be gods God has always been God does not have a mother or a father God was not conceived God is a spirit he had to be conceived physically that was his will that's what he wanted that was her job a very important incredible job that she was honored to have now if we read from John 858 when Jesus is talking about Abraham and the Jews saying well you're only 33 years old I could you know you, you weren't alive to see Abraham in John 858 Jesus said verily verily I say unto you before Abraham was I am that means he has always been He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. He has always been. He didn't have a mother to conceive him. Now again, she was the mother of the physical birth of Jesus Christ. Does that make her the mother of God? God doesn't have a mother. Again, I'll say this throughout this whole video. She was highly favored, highly important to do her job. And she was handpicked. For God's purpose, for God's reason. And again, but she wasn't perfect. She was full of sin, just like we all were. Now, if we go to, bear with me here. We go to Luke. Hold on, I hit the wrong button. Luke 1 46 and 47. We will see this. Luke 1 46, 47. And Mary said, My soul that doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit had rejoiced in God, my Savior. My soul hath magnified in the Lord. My spirit has rejoiced in my God and my Savior. Jesus was her Savior as well, was her God as well. She is saying it herself. Jesus has no mother. The physical birth, she gave birth to him. So I know people are going to say, well, Rob, you're contradicting yourself. I'm not contradicting myself. She gave birth, a physical birth, yes, to Jesus Christ. But God has never had a mother. He always was. He's always been and always will be. One more time, Mary was highly favored highly favored. I am not discounting the importance of what she had to do, what her job was. I am not discounting that. What I'm discounting is putting her on a pedestal with Jesus Christ, praying to her, making statues of her, calling her Ma Hail Mary full of grace, when there's only one who has grace, and that's Jesus Christ. I'm not here attacking anyone. I'm here spreading the truth of the Lord. Now, let's go to one more scripture. Again, bear with me. We're going to go to Isaiah. Hold on. As this thing's a little slow. Never is, but today it is. You're not going to get me, Satan. Let's go to Isaiah 45. 6. Isaiah 45, 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west 
that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. That they, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Should we be praying to Mary? Should we be praying to anybody else but Jesus Christ, God himself? Again, many Catholics put her on a pedestal, call her the mother of God. And like I said before, physically she had a job to do, to give birth to Jesus Christ. God wanted it this way, it was his will. And one more time, you're going to get tired of me hearing, hearing me saying this, but she was highly favored. I am not discounting her. I don't care how many times I'm going to repeat myself because I just want to make sure that people hear me. I'm not discounting the job that she had to do, the will that God had for her. It was an incredible, incredible honor to be handpicked for this specific part of God's will. But we should not be praying to Mary. We should not be worshiping Mary. If she was alive today, she would tell you the same thing. Do not pray to me. There is one mediator between man and God. We've talked about this before. And that's the man Christ Jesus. Jesus is the way to get to the Father. Because he is the Father. These three scriptures alone are going to show us that God has no mother. God has always been. There wasn't a God before him to give birth. There wasn't a male God and a female God, uh, you know, having a little fun together and giving birth to this God. It would just make no sense. So yes, she was a physical mother. She gave birth. Yes, physically. Spiritually, no. He has no mother. Remember, before Abraham was, I am. Before everything was, I am. All things were created by him and for him, as he has always been. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. Mary wasn't there in the beginning, he was. And he'll be there in the ending. Jesus Christ is everything. Make him your everything, not anybody else. Do not worship anybody else. God is only one. And there is none else. Isaiah 45.6 there is none else. I am the Lord. There is none else. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure to continue to do the work of the Lord. And uh, I pray that the Lord gives me strength to continue to spread the truth through Him. All the glory goes to Him. It's all about Him. This message is all about Him. And I pray that you also all give me strength to continue this work. I'm very grateful for you for watching. And I thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. God bless.